So over here, as you can see, I got titles over here. Uh, where I got symbol number, name, title, salary, and bonus. So what I want is I want to do something called the data validation over here. So for symbol number, I do not want more or less than six characters. For name, I want to leave it as it is. For title, I want uh, to display a drop-down list. For salary, I do not want it less than $5,000. And for bonus, I do not want it uh, less than $100 and not more than $2,000. So I want to set that range over there. So I'm gonna go over here onto the symbol number section first, and then gonna go to data tab and data validation. So here, I want to limit the number of uh, my characters. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to select text length, just like this, and I want exactly six digits. So I'm going to go into data right here, and then I'm going to select equal to because I want exactly uh, exactly six characters. So I'm going to press six just like this. So now if I were to enter any data, if there are just three characters, I press enter, it'll show me an error message. But if I were to type in six characters just like this, you can see that it accepts the data. Let's say the error mes message that pops up, I want it custom me. And same goes for the uh, same goes for um, uh, the, um, uh, uh, for the pop-up message as well. So I'm going to go into here uh, into data validation and gonna go into input message, which is a pop-up message that shows up. So over here, I'm going to say I want uh, this to say note. Please enter. Please enter six character symbol number all right over here in the error alert i just want to say uh i it want uh want it to say error please enter please enter exactly six characters all right correct this. All right, a little bit of spelling error over there. All right, so now if I were to click anywhere, you can see that the note actually pops up. So it prompts me to type in exactly six characters. And if I don't, it'll show me an error message, my custom error message, which tells me to please enter exactly six characters. So I'm going to add in six characters over here, just like this. And there you go. So I'm going to add in six symbol number. Let me just make it capital. All right, and there you go. So for the name right here, as you can see, I can add in any character, so it does not matter. So Robert, not tutor, tube. All right, and YouTube. All right. For the title, I want it as a drop-down menu. So over here in C2, you can see that I got the data that I want in the drop-down menu. So I'm simply going to going. Go, I'm gonna go into C right here. In the title, I'm going to go into data validation. In the settings, I'm going to go in here and select list. And in the source, I'm going to select this out, go into the second seat right here and select six of these. And I'm going to press enter. And there you go. It actually takes the data from there. I'm going to press OK. And now the drop down menu actually appears. So you can simply select the menu just like this. And if you want to Add a data over there so you, uh, it is quite easy you can actually go and reselect but you can if you want to add something else over here like a note taker for example I um, I can just add it here but it won't show up in the list so what I have to do is I have to shift select it and drag it above so that the script writer the last data uh, which has been taken in the list is at the end so now if i were to go here you can see that the note taker actually appears but if you are to drag the note taker down again it won't work so uh, uh, drag the note taker down again the script writer had been registered as the last last data while you made the list so it won't register so you have to do that after everything has been done you can simply right click and then hide this thing right here all right, so the data is not seen and it is hidden from regular people's view. For the salary, I do not want it less than $5,000. So I'm going to go into data validation and 
allow uh, decimal number only. So I'm gonna go over here. So decimal number or a whole number doesn't matter. So I do not want it less than. So I want it greater than, greater than or equals to. All right, greater than or equal to five thousand over here, and press OK. So I've selected all of these data validation. Press OK. Five thousand. Place it. All right. So if I were to press this five, it won't accept. It means five thousand dollars itself. So five thousand. 5,000, 5,000, all right? So it accepts that, it accepts 7,000, but it does not accept 4,500, all right. For bonus, I wanted to set it as dollars as well. Here, I had already set it to dollars, but to set it as dollars, you should select this, go over here at home, and set this to dollars, as you can see right here. This, I do not want to set it as dollars, so you can simply, <clears throat> this does not apply here. So over here, uh, I want the bonus to be more than five hundred dollars, but not less than uh, five hundred dollars. Not not more than two hundred dollars. So I mean two thousand dollars. So I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm going to go into data. I'm gonna go into data validation. So I want it in between. So I'm gonna go into decimal again. So it's gonna be in between five hundred to two thousand, as you can see right there. So now I can add 500 as my most minimum uh, bonus, 2000, but I cannot add in 2001. It shows an error message and I cannot add in 499. So you can see that the data validation actually works just like that. So that is how you can use the data validation feature inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.